keep calm, and pray the Psalms for Saturday, the last day of the first week of Martyr's Tide. Tomorrow, 14th Sunday after Pentecost, the doors will be open. We have matins, morning song. The Gospel reading as a continuation of Matthew, the 18th chapter, where we hear those troubling words of Jesus, if your eye offends you, pluck it out. If your hand makes you sin, cut it off. It is, of course, not our eye or our hand that causes us to sin. It is our heart. And we cannot cut out our hearts. For then we die and we are but devil's fodder. No, Christ comes for us. Christ comes for us so that our sins might be forgiven. So that God may be just and the justifier of those who sin. And for that we give him thanks and praise. So tomorrow the doors will be open. Come and hear with us the blessings of the gospel. But now, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm 104. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty, covering yourself with light as a, with a garment, stretching out the heavens like a tent. He lays the beams of his chambers on the waters. He makes the clouds his chariot. He rides on the winds of the wind. He makes his messengers winds, his ministers flaming fire. He set the earth on its foundations so that it should never be moved. You covered it with deep, with a deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the sound of your thunder they took flight. The mountains arose, the valleys sank down to the place where you appointed for them. You set a boundary that they may not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. Besides them, the birds of the heavens dwell. They sing among the branches. For your lofty abode, you water the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the livestock and plants for man to cultivate. That he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork her home for the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are refuge for the rock badgers. He made the moon to mark the seasons. The sun knows its time for setting. You make darkness and it is night. When all the beasts of the forest creep about, young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they steal away and lie in their dens. Man goes out to his work to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you made them all. 
The earth is full of your creatures. Here is the sea, great and wide, which teems with creatures, innumerable living things, both small and great. There go the ships and the leviathan, which you form to play in it. These all look to you. Give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looks on the earth and it troubles? Who touches the mountains and they smoke? I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have being. May my meditations be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Catechism. The Ten Commandments, you shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, keep us in your kingdom. Teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, your Son willingly endured the agony and shame of the cross for our redemption. Grant us courage to take up our cross daily and follow him wherever he leads. The same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day, and I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Lord, bless thee and keep thee. Lord, make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Lord, lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. You have a good night.